30 seconds. Goonan in the penalty box. Two minutes for tripping. Back now falling in for no four and four. Opens up the ice a little bit now. Starla now looking for a lane that's open. Sees McLean. McLean selects power drive. Would you like to score a goal? Yes, you would. So Nora McLean selecting power drive, finding the back of the the Goanna's net and she would like to score again. Good drop off pass here from Scala seeing McLean just power through and would go. Nora McLean seen the Carson Turner's top scorer throughout this season. 12 goals now, 13 and 21, uh, 22 points to her name. So the player's not rescued from the penalty box, so 22 seconds of four on four. Play continues now with the Inferno up with the early goal. Back now for Clark Crompton. Clark Crompton thinks about firing fire. Has saved there. Perry chasing the rebound. Dig, 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 dig. Scala! The reason of Scala set up on Michelle Clark Crompton. Point blank range. Couldn't do much about that one. And Elizabeth Scala nailing, nailing the rebound here perfectly. Michelle Clark Crompton thought about the shot. Ended up shooting. It was a good shot. Chasing the rebound there, and Elizabeth Scala with a lot of help there from Michelle Clark Crumpton. All of a sudden, it's Inferno 2 0. They started yesterday's game quickly as well with the goal just two minutes, or even two minutes into the game, and another uh, about six minutes to go in the period, and they seem to be heading much the same way today. And they still had eight. So the Inferno on the attack again, shots on goal favouring the Inferno 5-3. Under some pressure, Clark Crumpton turns and spins the puck three, the puck's in the back of the net. And the Inferno, they're on a mission. They're trying to bring the heat and they're doing a good job of that so far, Alyssa. The Inferno have really come out in the first period of today's game and, you know, really delivered a message uh, to the Brisbane Joanna's being like, oh no, we're taking four. Um, you know, at this point in time, you know, the goals just keep racking up and it's definitely uh, making it a more and more difficult task uh, for the Brisbane Goannas uh, to face. Seeing they can do it, we saw it yesterday. Uh, but yeah, just uh, Puck and Fono are running away from them at the moment. Back now for Michelle Clark Crumpton up against the backboard. Reinforcements arrive in the form of White because White still with it there, Clark Crumpton. Down low with it in the slot. Clark Crumpton back into trouble. Clark Crumpton scores. You know what I said, like 30 seconds ago about the fact that it seemed like the Trump and China were rapidly running away with that game at this game. I would like to double down on that opinion. You prepared to go on that hill at least Like, you know, I'm willing to be proven wrong. Like, love me a good game of pocket. You know, four goals in the first 10 minutes. If you're Brisbane, something has to change and it has to stay fast. And that would be the Brisbane Goannas calling a timeout. <laughs> Fantastic shot by Tracy Hawcott. And one thing that the Goannas always do, they, they never die wondering, they never give up, even they're, they're down by four goals. Mark Crumpton centering pass, finding Scala on the right hand wall, Clark Crumpton attacking the net, and the Inferno, Clark Crumpton, she's pumped up as she should be, the Inferno extend their lead. Clark Crumpton's fourth point of the game, she has two assists and two goals, uh, joining Oliver Scala on Hattie Watch uh, in the first period. Michelle Clark Crompton in beast mode there. Only so much that Imogen Perry could do. McLean, uh, McNabb rather back there for Clark Crompton. Clark Crompton now entering the zone on the left hand side. Around one, Clark Crompton fires. Throw the hats, Inferno fans. Michelle Clark Crompton, hat trick. She had a fantastic game of five points so far. Three goals, two assists. Honestly, she stepped up for the Inferno in a massive way today. She's had so many times there, Alyssa, where she's tried so hard it hasn't come off. And so for her to get a hat trick in the last game of the regular season, that will be a lot of pressure off her shoulders. Down up and trying to apply some pressure. Coming in to assist is Abby Brown. Leaving now is Hokit. Um, rather, is Scala. Scala, Clark Crumpton. Scala fires and Elizabeth Scala throw the hats for her as well because what a fantastic effort for both of them, Michelle Clark Crompton and Elizabeth Scala. Not sure about what happened at the end there, rather unfortunate way to hit the wall, but she scored a hat-trick, so I don't think she'll care about what happened afterwards, Alyssa. You know, sometimes you just lose your feet. Ice is slippery. 
Um, but a fantastic goal uh, for the hat trick with a beautiful give and go there uh, with number nine. So fantastic work there, Michelle Clark Crumpton setting up perfectly Elizabeth Scala. So two hat tricks for the Inferno. I'm to check out if you've missed it. Alyssa, you're in danger. Play continues through McLean. Molten fires, rebound opportunity, and they've taken advantage again. The Perf Inferno, the carnage continues. And dare I say a goalie curse? I don't think the goal is a curse. No, well, I was just talking Keisha Acton's up, and then a few seconds later she has a goal oh, scored okay. on her. I was going to say, I was like, it's possibly a little dramatic. Now, four on four for the next minute. A minute 38 of the period. The Inferno on the charge. Shooting, scoring. And the carnage continues. Michelle Clark Crumpton yet again heavily involved in this game. Just really rough off for the Goannas right now. Because obviously if you're in the Inferno, you want to keep the momentum going. Uh, you know, you know at this point there's a pretty fair likelihood that you have finals in two weeks times so, you know you're all clicking as a team so you know want to keep that rolling uh so you can leave this game feeling really good about yourself but also if you're the goannas like you're sitting at the other end uh kind of trying to find a reply to this and you know a 9-0 scoreline is never something uh that a team wants to be experiencing uh, it's definitely uh tough to you know find momentum when the scoreline does look like that so two minutes for interference we did see a penalty shot in yesterday's game. As play continues, Haley battling against the puck. The Goanners certainly won't give up. Haley now with, with some time, not a lot of space, leaving it now for Watson, but Watson had moved. Watson with it, Watson fires. And Veronica Watson from distance, you can see the relief on her face there as she gets the shot off. Unfortunately, that ruins a perfect afternoon for Sydney Fricker. Yeah, Sydney Fricker, you know, obviously nine goals against, still was have it holding the shot out uh, until that moment for, for Brisbane. You know, it has to be. It was something that'll just take the sting out of it a little bit, kind of thing. Like you know, losing to that type of margin is one thing. Not managing to score a goal uh, is a whole nother level. Uh, so nice for them to be able to get one on the board, uh, despite obviously the circumstances it occurred under. 